Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to hide data in Slack Space. Uh, well, actually a text file in Slack Space. Um, in order to perform this uh, lab, you'll need to actually install Kali Linux on the virtual machine. Uh, before we would just run it from the ISO. Uh, we would run it as if it was just a boot disk. Uh, but in order to perform this, um, in order to hide data in Slack Space, we need to actually install uh, the operating system. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, last semester, when I tried installing Kali Linux on a virtual machine from an actual physical DVD, uh, I encountered, or we all encountered, um, a lot of issues. Um, so the way I recommend installing Kali Linux on the virtual machine is through an actual disk image or through the ISO itself rather than using a physical DVD. Okay, so to get started, uh, go ahead and press uh, New. And then we can call this um, call this uh, Kali Linux installed. <clears throat> the type is Linux. The version is Debian 32-bit. Hit next. Uh, we'll leave the recommended memory uh, s size. Uh, we'll create a virtual hard drive of, um, let me see here, okay, so then let's hit uh, create, uh, then that's going to be VDI, uh, we'll leave it as dynamically allocated. And uh, we'll change this to um, 20 gigabytes. Uh, I think I forgot the X here. Yeah, so let me see if I can rename this. I can rename it here. Okay. Okay, I'll fix that. <clears throat> okay, so now let's go to settings. Under network, we want a bridged adapter. Um, under system, uh, okay, so make sure you go under processor, enable PAE and X. Okay, and then under storage, uh, we're going to want to actually mount the disk or the disk image. Right, so under controller IDE, click here, and then click the disk, and then if you already have your Kali Linux ISO that you've used previously, it should show up in the list. If not, you can just go to choose a virtual disk uh, file, and uh, we'll want this one here. Okay, so then now that's in the system, then click OK. Okay, so then now let's go ahead and start the virtual machine. Okay, and then normally we run it live, uh, but in order to uh, do this Slack space assignment, uh, we're going to need to actually install it. Um, so let's select graphical install and then hit enter. Okay, so then uh, English, United States, 
American English And then usually when you install it from an ISO, it usually installs a lot faster than installing it from an actual physical disk. Okay, so the host name will leave us Cali. Domain name blank. Okay, so then the password is going to be T O O R, which is root backwards, T O O R. And then again, T O O R. Uh, we want central time. Then the uh, partition partitioning method um, will use guided use entire disk. Hit continue. Okay, hit continue again. Okay, then we want all files in one partition. Uh, Okay, so then we're going to write the changes to disk. Hit continue. And then select yes. Continue. Okay, so under configure the packet manager, uh, use a network mirror. Hit yes or leave it as default. And then go to continue. Under proxy information, just leave it blank. Hit continue. Okay, so here under install grub bootloader on a hard disk, um, hit yes. Okay, so then once it finishes, hit continue. Okay, so once it finishes, then you'll end up at this screen here. Oh, well. Yeah, so now it's loading from the it, virtual hard drive or the from the VDI. Okay, so then uh, click uh, press enter here. The username is root. The password is T O O R. And then just wait for it to load up. Okay, so once everything's installed, uh, the first thing we need to do is download an application called BMAP. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up Ice Weasel. Let's click here. You can maximize this. Go ahead and delete that there. And then go to this website here. That's going to be Packet Storm Security.com forward slash files forward slash down load forward slash one seven six four two forward slash bmap dash one point zero point one seven point tar for tar dot g 
Z for gun zip. And then press uh, enter. Hopefully I typed that right. Okay, so Okay, so go ahead and save this file. Just click save. And um, we'll save it here in the in the root. So just click save. Okay. So now that's there. We can minimize Ice Weasel. Okay, so once you finish downloading it, then the next thing we need to do is unzip and untar bmap. So go ahead and open terminal. Okay. Uh, then the next thing, um, go ahead and type the first command to gunzip. Gunzip. Uh, the file name is bmap-1.0.16. Dot tar dot gz. Then uh, press enter. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maximize this here. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. Maybe it's easier for y'all to see. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so gunzip bmap dash one point I'm sorry one dot zero dot one seven dot T A R dot G Z. Okay, so then after you run that, then we need to untar it by typing tar T A R and then X O V F. Then if you type B uh, press the tab key it'll automatically fill in the rest of the file name. Okay, and then press enter. Okay, so then that untarred it. That's a word. Okay, so then the next thing is we need to change directories. Uh, go to the bmap folder and compile the files. Okay, so let's do that. So change directory, so that's cd map maybe if I press tab it'll fill it in yes so then press uh, enter okay so then now we're in the folder then type make it should hopefully compile all the files Okay, so once you do that, then the next thing we need to do is we need to make a symbolic link. So then just type uh, ln dash s space slash root slash bmap dash one point zero point one seven dash B map and then I'm gonna zoom out a little bit a little too big zoom out then I'm going to you have to click space there's a space between uh, this here and what I'm typing next slash s bin slash bmap All right so that's ln space dash s space forward slash root forward slash bmap dash 1.0.17 forward slash bmap then a space then forward slash s bin forward slash bmap okay so if you have it typed that way go ahead and press enter Okay, so let's test the symbolic link. Type bmap dash 
uh, help. Let's see if anything comes up. Okay, so here are the different options for BMAP. Okay, so it seems to be working. Okay, so then let's change the directory. So cd forward slash var forward slash tmp. Press enter. So then now type echo. double quotes this is a test file double quotes again then the greater than symbol and we're gonna write this into a file called test dot txt okay so then press enter okay now let's make sure the file is there. So then list ls dash l and then test dot txt. Okay. So then there is a file there called test dot txt. Okay, so then now that we have the file, that file um, in the space that's left over, the Slack space, uh, we're going to hide a, a secret message. Okay, so then echo. Uh, put your name. Uh, pipe bmap space two dashes mode and then if you're running out of sp well here in the view I'm running out of space so I'm going to zoom out okay then uh, put slack then space test dot txt okay and then press uh, enter okay so then here the file size is 20 and then here it was 20 as well so the file size didn't change okay so then let's see what's actually in the test.txt file so you go to type cat test.txt and then remember we typed in there this is a test file okay so then now let's display the secret text that was we put in the slack space All right. so then you call bmap uh, two dashes mode slack and then which one which file do we want to uh, check the slack space on so it's going to be the test dot txt and then press enter so then again it shows the file space okay so then here is our secret message that was hidden in that slack area okay so now the next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to delete the file. So then remove rm test.txt. Press enter. Then if we call the list command here, no file exists. Then if we uh, call bmap to check the slack, uh, there is no um, there is no text. So then now let's recreate the file exactly the way we had recreated before. So just press up. Okay, so we'll use the same command that we used earlier. That way we don't make any mistakes. Okay, and then press uh, enter. Okay, so then the file was created. Okay, so then now let's check the Slack space. And then the uh, text comes up again. Okay, so with all this uh, on the screen, go ahead and um, go ahead and take a screenshot. So we can use the actual host machine. Uh, use the snipping tool. And then uh, edit, copy. Go to Word. Uh, paste this guy there. And then you can go ahead and submit this information uh, so you can get credit.